What's up guys, Mike BAK Phony, and just wanted to drop a line and tell you guys what the hell happened to me over June. Now, I have, I have been to the edge and back. Uh, it has been, it has been quite, uh, quite an experience, actually. Uh, everything that's happened in June so far has been a learning experience, uh, beyond what I could have ever imagined. Um, first, I apologize with the, for the t-shirt, you guys never seen me t-shirts, but it's hot. So I made sure to put on a t-shirt that's awesome, that's awesome, that's awesome, that's awesome, okay? Uh, and you see that the fan is even off so I could do this and you guys don't have to listen to it. I, I love you guys that much. I will turn off the fan for you. And it's fucking hot out here, but I'll deal with it for the next X number of minutes. So, uh, let's go back to May 29th, May 30th. If you're following Twitter, you probably could piece a lot of this stuff together, but let me just tell you guys how it all happened. Uh, May 29th, May 30th, what ended up happening was uh, I got a notification from uh, YouTube saying, uh, there's been a content ID match on one of your videos. It's a Don't Start video. And I was like, that's really bizarre. I'm pretty sure Clay is not out there trying to shut everybody down. That'd be a pretty dick move. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I know that Clay, it's actually in their, their terms of service, their terms of use, whatever, that uh, it does say that you can make videos on YouTube using their content. And they're like, okay, cool, gotta do it, right? So um, it was really strange. So I clicked on it, opened it up, and uh, it says Sky Italia has has put a content ID match uh, on my uh, on my account. Now, they didn't actively go and do it. What it is, they submitted something to YouTube. YouTube w looked at it right with their matrix eyes, like, right, and so they they created this this kind of this key, and with this key, they basically apply it to everything that that comes into that gets uploaded to YouTube. Any if, if you guys ever ever uploaded something to YouTube that wasn't made by you, the chances are you guys probably got a notification saying that there are ads placed on this thing, it's available for play in all countries, but uh, the ads are on it, are not yours, right? Um, that's what it was. Okay, so I was like, well, what the hell was it? So I played it back and it was some part during the episode where I was talking about poop because poop is all over the place and don't starve. It's the kind of game it is. Uh, so we already talked about this a little bit. Strange, okay? We already know that part. That was weird. Now, unfortunately, this particular one, uh, this content ID match, uh, and I've gotten these in the past, but I don't remember it ever having this kind of impact on me. Uh, it actually removed my ability to post anything over 15 minutes. That sucks, because what does that leave? Uh, that, that takes out basically every, any Let's Play, any Don't Starve episode is gone, right? Uh, any, uh, any Andy for Breakfast, gone, okay? So that really, that, that kind of hit me. I was like, wow, that sucks. Like, the only thing I could really do is like just kind of, like some, maybe some Warframe content, whatever, but I have to keep track of how much, how long I'm playing for, and that's it. I can't, I don't want to do like any for breakfast for 15 minutes, you know, unless it's a simple game or something like, uh, like a platformer or something. I could probably knock that out in 15 minutes, and that's it. So, that sucked. That was nothing compared to what happened next. Right around, I'd say the third or the fourth, something like that, the first week of June, uh, I get a double notification from YouTube. Uh, YouTube says that there are copyright strikes placed on my account because of uh, on my on my two videos for Comedy Night Live, which are still in my stream, by the way. You can still find them right now, um, and they have been removed from YouTube. Right? Uh, they they they're in my they're still in my feed or whatever, but uh, they they're not visible by anybody else. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, these two strikes are, are are count against your account. They're, they're, they're in my copyright section, whatever. When I go to my my account status, it says that uh, not only now can I not do 15 minutes, I already couldn't do 15 minutes before. Um, now, the, basically, the only thing I was able to do was uh, upload a thumbnail, and that was it. And I was like, what the, what, why? Why is the guy who made Comedy Night Live like attacking me like this? He was he he's tweeted me before. And he was like, he was like, hey, watch play some more, don't starve. Like he he enjoyed that that we were covering and enjoying his game. Comedy Night Live is such a bizarre Xbox Live. Uh, Xbox, or Comedy Nights is such a bizarre uh, Xbox live indie game that it's something that almost everybody should just own because you can just go in there and you could just get get an earful of what's out there on, on YouTube without or on on the Xbox uh, Live Network without having to actually uh, load up an actual game. It's kind of kind of awesome like that. Um, so I was just, what the hell? So the term that was actually uh, copyrighted was Comedy Night Live. So that's what it said. It tells you, and they get this special form I've never seen before. Uh, and it said these two videos are being removed uh, by this person, and it gives me their uh, their email address. Uh, and it gives me it's pretty much it. They just give you like their email address, and that's for the most part all uh, uh, certain. Um, and the term that was that, that's copyrighted or trademarked that uh, that I was using illegally uh, was Comedy Night Live. That's it. 
That's, that's all I said. Uh, I didn't get an opportunity to to say, no, no, that's wrong, put my videos back up. My only response, the only thing I could do was basically fill out a form, uh, an online form, that said, this is wrong. And I, I, I put a little note saying, well, why do you think it's wrong? Okay, this is why, okay. And it says, put a note to the person that you want to send it to, to the person who actually submitted the thing against you. Now I'm like, hey, this is wrong, probably done an error. Do me a favor and restore them because you know, I kind of look, depend on this money. It's like it's kind of like how... It's, it's an income that I, that I rely on. Uh, and I sent it off. And I, I freaked out a little bit. Uh, uh, and within probably 20 minutes, I had doxxed the guy completely. I, I, I knew... I, and this is funny. He's, he actually, he knows my videos now, right? Because we've talked later, right? Which we'll get to. He's probably watching this right now. He's like, what do you mean? Yes, yes. I know your first and last name. I know exactly where you live. Uh, you live above a shop. Okay. Uh, I wasn't going to use any of this stuff maliciously, of course. This was all because I realized that this was all done. I knew, I just knew, it, 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 just deep down inside, I was like, no, this, is, this guy obviously doesn't know what he's doing. He, he, he doesn't think, he doesn't know that this is not the right, that he's doing, he's doing this wrong. Uh, and what's funny, he's even told Biscuit had actually called me up. Um, uh, and uh, we were talking about, uh, oh, he was trying to, he was trying to assist me in, in some of these things. And I had already gone through like copyright stuff from the, uh, before. But uh, he was trying to tell me like what he had kind of gone through with like I think like Sega or something in the past because they were being dicks for the longest time. Which I think they were probably still being dicks for the most part. Um, but I'm not sure about that. Anyways, so he told me like what he how he worded certain things and whatever. And I was like, this is this is great. I, mean, I don't mind. I, this is great. I get insight from somebody who's got you know who's probably run this problem a billion times. So it's awesome. And him and I were actually both going through. and We were digging up uh, his YouTube channels, the guy's YouTube channels, because um, those were accessible. Um, through like this form somehow, and again, like, I I don't have the form on hand because it's gone. I don't feel like looking at it anymore, uh, so I don't I don't really know exactly how. Uh, but we both kind of saw the channels where this guy uh, he had posted his own stuff, and that's when we realized it was kind of like okay, this is definitely an accident or it's not malicious. It's just somebody who doesn't understand how the copyright and trademark system functions. Um, whereas if he if if he has the copyright to Comedy Night Live. Which I, who am I to judge? He might, he may not, right? Um, doesn't necessarily mean that if a game's called Comedy Night, that he could just poof make the video disappear, right? For a game, and that he's he's oh he owns his trademark for like something that's not gaming related, okay? Um, granted, if the game was called Comedy Night Live and he had the, the the trademark, maybe then he could probably do something. If there's some kind of confusion or something between trademarks, right? Where it's like, oh, well, this particular copyright here uh, is confusing to, to to the users that participate in this one, where this guy actually owns his copyright. Right? Okay, so there you might you might have a case, uh, but uh, in this case, no, it was very clear that it wasn't. So uh, Total Biscuit and I definitely had a good laugh at that, uh, and we were both like, okay, look, at least we know. That it's wrong. Uh, unfortunately, we now both <laughs> see firsthand uh, again that the the YouTube system for recognizing uh, these things and for allowing these things to happen uh, is so in favor of the uh, uh, of the claimants that it's completely un un unfair to the creator. Like, there's not even a threshold. You could be ultra mega popular on YouTube, and this could still happen. Um, me not being part of a network, I wasn't really able to kind of lean on on somebody on that side to be like, hey, you know, you guys know people at YouTube, obviously, you're a network, you probably have people there, you can probably expedite this and get this thing cleared up. <sighs> okay, so a couple days later, I, uh, I, went, I went back to check on the forum to see what the status was. I checked, I, I checked on it actually every day, several times a day, because, it, again, I can't do anything with this account now. I, 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 oh, custom thumbnail, woo, right? Even my monetization was being threatened, and when I tried to monetize things, it was broken. So I was like, what the hell is going on? Um, I got, come back like two days later and the form reset. I was like, is it, it's broken? Like, do I have to resubmit everything again? And this happened every couple of days. The form would continue to reset. So, Total Basic said, oh yeah, you know, I know people that might be able to help with that because I was, I was bitching about it on Twitter, which because that's what we do, right? <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting fucked here. I'm a, a bitch about it on, on a public place so I can get my, my steam out there, whatever. So so uh, he, he hit me up and he's like, hey, I, I know people that might be able to help at TGS. Okay, great, cool. So he, he threw some stuff at them um, and, and I only had to wait 10 business days. Luckily, there was like E3 and all this stuff happening all within that time frame. I was, I was pretty busy during that, uh, this, this window. Um, well, the, the 10th business day had arrived, and 
I had filled out the form probably like four or five times or something at that point. Uh, I was under, I was, you know what? The form keeps resetting. There's nothing I could do. During that period, after E3, before the, the, the 10th business day or whatever, during that period, I had actually, I took his email address and I tried to email him directly. And guess what? It came back saying the account was closed. And so that, to me, I was like, okay, that's why the form keeps resetting. It's because his email address is closed. So when I, every time I fill out this form, of what to say to YouTube, saying that, that the copyright's been uh, uh, falsely, uh, what is it? Um, it was made in error. That's like the key thing, right? This copyright claim is made in error. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and then uh, the second form, I, I, I said, hey, blah, blah, blah. At one point, I threatened legal because I would. I mean, honestly, if this was done maliciously, I would have sued his ass, right? Because this is taking away money. From me. And did I lose money over the course of June? Yes, of course I did. Uh, is it enough to really get into a fuss over? No, because we'll get there. Uh, so, well, also because legal fees. That's actually a big, that's actually the big one, right? But there's other things too. Um, so, we, I, I did some more digging. Um, and I actually found another couple email addresses. Uh, he has several YouTube accounts, and so this is the, the claimant, right? He has several YouTube accounts. I hit him up a whole bunch of times uh, on those accounts, and then I finally hit up this other this other account, and I gave him I, all the time. I, every time I kept giving him my phone number and all that stuff. So the, on the last one, I, I gave him my phone number, and my email address. Uh, this is on an email address that I had not seen before, uh, and this is through like a couple of different. This is basically through like a who is, and then chained to another chain to another and then through another who is and then matching the address right that's pretty much how it went um found the email address never seen it before threw an email out to him out to him and i was and I, I very politely i was just like look this is happening if you could get back to me as soon as possible that would be awesome i don't want to lose any more money on this i don't want to have to threaten legal on this uh i just want things to go back to the way they were so i send that out in the morning uh this was like probably a couple weeks ago um about a week and a half ago then I got uh, my phone rings that evening. This is that tweet that I sent out where I said, you'll never believe who just called. And it's a voice. And because I had seen his other videos, I know what his voice sounds like. He calls me and I know his name. So I asked him, I was like, what's your, was like, what's your name? Because I wanted him to verify it with me, right? He wouldn't tell me his name. The number was blocked. Um, probably like a throwaway phone or something or whatever. I had him on the phone. Everything else stopped. Everything else freezed. I'm not doing anything else. I'm just talking to you, sir. What, what can we do? He was very, very apologetic. Um, he was like, I realized that I made a mistake. I was trying to grab things that infringed on my copyright, and I accidentally grabbed yours. I do not know how to reverse it. If you could tell me how to reverse it, I, like, step by step or something, I will do it immediately. And so I said, I was like, I was like cool. He said, and this is the part where I was like, okay, yeah, I, I get that he doesn't understand the system or whatever, and I'm sure you guys in the comments going to have a field day calling him an idiot or whatever you want to do. That's fine. The fact that he actually came to me directly, apologized, he was like, I see what you do on your channel. You are an artist. I'm an artist. I'm trying to get my stuff out there. That's what he said, right? It's like, I, so I appreciate what you do. I don't, I don't want to be the one to stop you from doing that. I made a mistake. How do I fix it? That to me, it was redeeming. It wasn't the it, again. Uh, it's not. It's not the intentions of what people do. Or sorry, it's not the actions of what people do. It's the intentions, right? That's how you should kind of base your. I get it. Sometimes you're like, wow, this person's an idiot. It makes me so mad, right? But was there an intention to were they maliciously going out to be an idiot to, to you to piss you off? Probably not. So it's like okay. I sent him an email, step by step instructions on how to go through and remedy this, um, and the way it had to be done was from the original email account, which though they, they, it was closed. So I hit him up again, call me again. So yeah, you have to open up your original email uh, address in order to do this. And he said, okay, I'm gonna try to do that. Um, he said he'll try to do that like, first thing tomorrow morning or whatever. And I don't know if he ever went to go and do it. I'm certain he probably did. This is like well past the 10 business days, okay? Um, I'm sure he did because he did call me back the second time. And if he didn't give a shit, then he wouldn't have called me back at all. He wouldn't have called me in the first place. So. He hit me up again. I did tell him at some point in this conversation, like, that's not how trademark works, but I'd be more than happy to cooperate uh, with each other in order for us to get this resolved. <laughs> so he, a couple days later, I didn't hear anything back. Uh, then I got a, uh, a message from YouTube, and it said, the following videos have been released uh, per the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. And I went and looked it up, and I was like, oh, thank God. It was, it was the two don'ts, the two... Uh, uh, comedy night videos they've been restored everything's back to normal 
And so I felt great. I was like, I was running. I was like, woo, everything is back to norm. Oh, wait, Sky Italia is still going on. So we have to wait for that to fall off in order for the account to be 100% back to normal. So during this period, uh, through Total Biscuit, and this is my first time going through trying to do this, right? Um, I was in talks with the game station in order to uh, kind of get the ball rolling on signing with them. Uh, they hit me up, and it was like the same day that it, that YouTube released the videos. They hit me up and they said, "Hey, uh, we hear you having problems." Total Biscuit told us you had problems and stuff, so we're here to help you out. What's going on? And I was like, "Well, it's it's done." But since you're here, why don't we go ahead and talk about stuff? Let's talk about the channel. Uh, I had already, and I, I was like, I, actually, I have the do, I have the contract till somewhere in my email. I actually last year May or so. Um, I actually went through the entire process with a couple of the guys at TGS. I had a contract. All I had to do was just sign it. The only reason why I didn't sign it last year was because uh, it was because I didn't have um, oh, because Declan was about to be born. And when you sign with this with a, with a station, there's like a couple weeks kind of shift in your pay or whatever. Uh, and I wasn't certain exactly how long that would be, so I didn't take the risk. I'm not gonna take the risk, to, you know, sending some of my money to who knows where for well to TGS for a, a, a window when I have a kid coming and I need to buy diapers, I need to buy all this stuff. So like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and I'll check back with you after the kid's born. Okay, that was like my last email to them. Uh, it's been pretty busy since the kid's been born. Uh, and so now it's like, well, hey, you know, since you're here, why don't we go and talk about this? Let's just see what we could do. And that was the plan, is to kind of get things going, sign with them and everything. Uh, so, uh, long story short on that end, yes, I am now, now to, as of today, 100% part of TGS. It was a multi-stage process, and it's actually very interesting when you go through the whole signing with the network thing. Um, and uh, I'm thrilled because it's a huge weight off my shoulders. Um, if you've been paying attention to everything I've been saying so far in this video, you realize just how easy it is to take down somebody's account using an email address that doesn't even have to be active. So, obviously, I see this as some form of protection. I already know that the T that TGS is a fantastic uh, community. That's like my biggest reason for going with them versus anybody else. Uh, people like again, like Total Biscuit reaching out. He doesn't have to help me. He he's helped me with so much crap over the past year. I've been on I've been on the TGS podcast. Uh, we did Orcs Must Die. We we're planning on doing Warframe. Whatever he wants to do it. Um, I I'm, I'm not part of TGS up until today. Uh, he didn't have to do any of that crap for me. And so it's like the fact that he's doing all this stuff to help me out some guy, right? Um, it, 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 to me, I was like, yeah, you know, I, I owe this guy something. So, uh, uh, and the rest of the people are kind of cool in the community in, in the, the network as well. I mean, I follow the same guys you do, Angry Joe, Jesse Cox and all of them. I'm fans of their crap. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was, I was very, uh, I was honored to be welcomed into the, into this community and to, and to do this. So, uh, and again, it's a layer of protection that unfortunately is not given to people who just are partners, regular partners like I was for the past two and a half, three years. So it's been fucking wild, man. It has been absolutely nuts. But I'm glad to finally be able to tell you guys everything because it is kind of a bizarre story. Uh, so thank you if you've been sticking around. I'm, I know I'm sweating crazy. Look at this sweat all over the place. You probably can't even see. Um, but, uh, but no, it's it's yeah, it's been crazy. I'm very happy the channel's back up. I'm still working for Zam full time, so thankfully that has been helping me out greatly uh, for the past uh, for the past couple months. And obviously it will help me out in the future. And I'm not gonna be like, all right, well Zam, my channel's back up. Time with TGS. See you. No, no, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, I, I am very. Uh, I, I'm still. I still want to try to get back into the schedule of doing content the way that I had planned on doing it before the channel went haywire. Uh, well, a couple things are missing, though, just so you guys know, just kind of up front. Uh, some of the Tomb Raider LPs are missing. The way it works is you, they can't sign you unless you have a, um, unless you have no copyright content ID anything. So there's copyright strikes, and then there's content ID matches, right? Uh, obviously copyright strikes, major problem. Pretty much forget it. Uh, content ID, usually you could dispute those, right? Uh, or you could just delete the videos, and it disappears from your accounts. Um... With negative pH, my band, those of you guys who don't know, um, our music is actually licensed through another company for content ID. Not licensed for anything else, but just content ID on YouTube. That way, if people start uploading, because yeah, I think Overmind's got like the whole album online, right, on YouTube. 
And I was like, you know what? That'd be kind of cool to be able to throw ads on it. That way we can make something off of this, right? It's getting, I think some of those videos are getting like a thousand to 10,000 views. Well, why not? Let's throw it up there and see what happens. Um, it was a good idea. Ooh, everything went dark. It was a good idea. Uh, but unfortunately, it ended up kind of fucking me because now every single video that I posted for negative pH is gone because I had to delete it because I can't fight myself on this. It's my music, right? Josh and I wrote it. The rights are, uh, they're ours, they're mine, right? Okay, so, uh, but I, uh, but unfortunately, if you dispute it with CD Baby, who CD Baby is the company we go through, or CD Baby through Rumblefish, through TuneCore, right, whatever, um, if I dispute it through them, that could actually, something, something could happen to my, my, uh, my account over there. You see how that works? Like, so it's, it's, so it ended up being, you know what, just delete them and re-upload them later. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So negative pH videos, unfortunately, are gone. All those beautiful views on those videos, but actually some of them did pretty good. Uh, so what I'm going to end up doing is over the course of the next, uh, like couple months is I'm going to upload the videos, re-upload the videos again. Uh, I do have music coming. Uh, I, Sunday, stop opening that door. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> just open doors to like. Pay attention to me, pay attention to me, open door, open door. Come up. All the way up. So, uh, I'm going to be re-uploading re negative pH stuff over the course of the next couple couple months. Uh, so you see like a new video every week. And what's great about this is that some of you guys actually don't even know that I do music. Because I hadn't done music since November of last year, October or so. October. Um, some of you guys are like, Mike B makes music? I didn't know. Because there's so many of you guys that are new. Especially since I first started the music thing. Um, or posting them to YouTube. So this will be a treat for some of you. Uh, we, I am, we're, we're one song away from finishing the album. We have a song right now that's basically finished. It's in Josh's hands. He's gonna go through. He's gonna go through and put Josh touch on it, and I'm gonna put my mic touch on it. And then we're gonna touch it together. We're gonna uh, no, not like that. Uh, and then we're gonna send it out, get it mastered, and everything. And we'll get that up. Uh, and then we have one more to do, and that once that song's actually about halfway done. Um, so once once that song's done, we get it posted, and I think when we post that, we're gonna post the entire album as one solid unit. I know some of you guys been waiting just to buy the whole damn album. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so you guys can go and do that, but uh, that's gonna take probably a couple months for sure. But whoo, whoo, man! Let me tell you, it, it has it has been like like right now. I'm just putting everything out because I feel like I could I could talk for more than 15 minutes now and not have YouTube reject the video. Isn't that crazy? I'm so happy. I am so happy. And then the TGS thing, the game station, like that's. That is awesome. I can't, I can't say how much. Uh, I cannot express how awesome that is. Um, going through the whole process of experiencing all these copyright things uh, and seeing what happens. Imagine if I had three Comedy Night videos, my account would have been taken down, like removed. And I would have actually had to submit via paper. Pa paper. I don't know if you, guys, if you guys have seen this before, but it's like, it's this thing they make from trees, right? It's, it's, and you can write on it, okay? I would have had to submit one of those, uh, via post office, post the horse and the guy, right? That's what I would have had to have done in order to get, uh, get this thing resolved. Who knows how long that would have taken? That could have taken forever. So, I don't know what, YouTube needs to do something about this system because now that I see, again, how easy it is to maliciously go take someone down, which by the way, it's illegal. You should do that. Uh, if you get caught, you'll, you'll probably, especially if you take down somebody that has money, uh, you'll probably get in trouble, okay? Um, so don't do it. But to see how easy it is, sucks. It fucking sucks. You know? Damn, I feel like anybody who's not signed to a network now is like a potential victim, a potential target uh, for these people. And that that just goddamn sucks. So, but now I'm protected. Ha! Ha! Suck it, trolls! Uh uh, I'm gonna take a sip. Cause, anyways, I'm I'm done talking now. I'm I am. I've barely had any of this. It's like I've had like four sips. But I'm so damn hot and dizzy and tired that I feel like I've had the entire thing. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Again, I'm just talking. Uh, content's coming up this week. Um, I have a couple eighty for breakfasts that I've recorded. Uh, I did some did some Rogue Legacy. Be posting a few of those. I'm waiting for the new, the newest Don't Starve update to come out. I haven't played it much over the past month. Um, I didn't do a lot of recording. You guys are probably like, oh, where's all the content? Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna be like, it, it's kind of like when you hold back for a long time, and then you're like, ah, it's like, ah, right. And uh, and I, I mean, there's no other way to spend that. Uh, it's, I don't have like content lined up 
for it because during this time I was I was honestly so stressed out uh, about this whole thing. I just couldn't I couldn't do anything. It was so stressful. It's like here's something I built and and and, and I'm able to, uh, to to do what I want uh, and post all this content, this visual, audio stuff, whatever I want to do. And people respond. They tell me I suck or they tell me I'm awesome. Whatever it is, right? I get feedback. I get to just reach out to these people. I think it's amazing. It's all in jeopardy because of something stupid. So, so yeah, it, it was stressful. I didn't get a lot done. Um, but yeah, don't starve. There's a new update coming out tomorrow. I'm gonna go through and play it to kind of see how it is, kind of see if I can get back into the gist of it, right? Um, I do miss it. I haven't played it again. I play it a little bit afterwards, um, but I, I do want to go back in and kind of play it, like kind of solid, see what happens. Rogue Legacy, though, man, that's 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 the hot stuff right now. I love that game. Um, but yep, that's it. So I think I pretty much covered everything. Thank you very much for sticking with me for the past month of crazy. But now things could get back to pretty much normal. I have a, I have a crash course actually to record for Voban. Finally, a confirmation that I could be nerfing him in the next patch. So that's kind of nice. There's a little hush hush. You guys didn't know that, huh? See, I know these things. So I was hanging out with the Lotus at E3. You guys see the pictures? Yeah, shook my hand. No hugs, she said. I was like, okay, I will give you a hug. But thank you for shaking my hand. <laughs> uh, I'm done. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>